Your stories. Your events. Your communities. Tune in daily for new episodes of The Source on your TV. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Alumni Hall, home of the St. Catharines Collegiate Saints. My name's Randy Conlon. I'm alongside Niagara College head coach Phil Mosley, and we're here to call the championship game of the 58th annual St. Catharines Standard Senior Boys Basketball Tournament. Tonight, we have the St. Francis Phoenix, who've won three championships in a row, and the upstart E.L. Crosley Slyke Cyclone. Coach, what do you see happening or foresee potentially happening tonight? Well, it's an interesting matchup. You've got the young upstart E.L. Crosley uh, Cyclone haven't been to the championship very often. And again, you've got St. Francis Phoenix who are regulars here. So uh, I think the first couple minutes are gonna really determine how E.L. Crosley settles into the game. And some of the keys to the game, coach? Handling St. Francis' pressure, E.L. Crosley managing their emotions and just getting into the game to start. All right, so here we are, starting lineups. T.J. Hurley at the top. Drive and kick the Belding. Belding from the baseline. Short. Rebound by Cole Carpenter. Igor Mambaya up to Demo. Demo wisely pulls it out. Mambaya from the top. The runner, big rebound by Owen Doby. Doby's got to stay on his feet there. Jason Carter, part of the starting lineup. Tough pass, but recovered nicely by young TJ Hurley. He's not going to panic, I don't think, too much, even though he's only in grade 10. He's been in a lot of big games. Big I don't think this one's, gonna, this one's not going to bother him. He'll be able to handle the pressure. So Jason Carter looks like he's going to pick up a uh, big steal there. Oh, they call a charge, Zason. Mike Zason, our officials, Mike Zason, Joe Zarota, and Kevin Moore, a uh, veteran crew coach. You've seen a lot of them. Absolutely, uh, really good crew, and uh, I'm sure we're in for a good game. So Jason Carter picking up full court on Igor Mumbaya, not shy. Jason Carter, great athlete. Igor Mumbaya, very experienced. Good matchup. Mumbaya for three to start. Big rebound by Cole Carpenter. Can't get it to go. Great box out by Belding. Belding rips through. Defers to Bleach. Bleach. Doby for three. He's pumped up. That's a big one, Randy. Surprised to see Crosley come out in pressure. I haven't seen it much this tournament. I think they can match pressure with anybody. They're athletic, they're tough, and um, I think it's a great way to get into it tempo-wise. Young Max Riddell with the uh, open three. He's had a great tournament. Can't get it to go. Straight, looks like straight man here. Riley Bleach. Can't get it to go. Big rebound by Demo. Very athletic, Quentin Demo. Mambaya pushing it up the floor, covered by Carter. That's a very tough shot. Great rebound by Belding. Two good box outs by Belding. Crosley right away is matching the intensity, matching the toughness. It's nice to see. Doby side back towards it. Um, there's Riddell again. He's not shy. He can shoot it. Demo with a great athletic rebound. Got to get a body on him, Coach. Absolutely. Demo's a high flyer. He's going to do a little bit of everything for the team, and that's exactly what he likes to do. Oh, boy. Tough pass by Doby there. Demo getting to Carter. Oh. That's Carter's second foul. That can be important. Yeah. Carter's a tough defender. They need him. He's experienced. They need him on the floor. Two early fouls. It's going to be tough. We're going to have a look at, at Demo Crash on the boards here. He just slips into space. Out of nowhere, uh, Bleach there, or Doby doesn't get a body on him. And a real nice attack by, uh, uh, by Bleach. Yeah, Crosley's got a team rebound. All five guys got a box out. Surprised to see uh, Coach Bleach leaving Carter in the game right now. It's a gamble, but I think if they want to take uh, if they want to take a shot at this, they're going to have to match him early. Yeah, Carter's Carter's a great athlete. Demo, nothing but net on the first one. Carter's one of those kids that can match the athletic ability of St. Francis, the the toughness, the aggressiveness. Yeah, and he's a little bit older than the majority of the the players on uh, starting uh, grade ten, uh, uh, two grade elevens. 
That pressure will not bother Hurley at all. It looks like early on, though, St. Francis is going to make someone else other than Hurley beat him. Hurley had a huge game last night, 32. Uh, I, I'm not sure I, I like that by Bleach. Quentin wasn't exactly square. What do you think? Well, I really like the way St. Francis is attacking the rim. I mean, for a young team like Yale Crosley, the biggest thing is they've got to manage their fouls. They've got to manage their emotions. They're out of position. And uh, St. Francis is taking advantage of that right now. Yes, yeah, St. Francis is very experienced. Uh, uh, John Marcheter, uh, I think maybe his third year coaching, but he, he's got uh, his coaching tree and coach Pat Sullivan has been around for a long time. Yeah, they've got their patented 2-2-1 two, 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 zone working for him right now, and Crosley's got to handle the pressure. Carter blocked, I think, by Demo. I was blocked out. Mbaya. Oh! Blocked by Andobi as the Igor gets to the rim. Crosley... Uh, Getting perhaps a little frustrated with the officiating, but I thought he leaned to the right a little bit there. It was just a step late. Yeah. Coach Bleach up. You don't see a lot of motion from Brian, much like in his playing days. It takes a lot to get him going. Brian's got that calm demeanor, but uh, he, <laughs> he's he got a, he a heck of a basketball resume for sure. All right. Yeah, St. Francis opens up an 8-5 lead after falling behind 5-0. Hurley with the look off. Doby to Hurley. Hurley with a nice look nice. into Carter. Belding that's, with a great, beautiful play. That's textbook how to break that pressure and score off of it. I love watching uh, uh, players' eyes when they're breaking the press. Like you look at, at TJ's eyes, he's looking off defenders and they're biting. His height. High IQ is really going to come in handy to break that pressure. Absolutely. We got a little high screen and roll. Hurley and uh, Belding with a runner in the key. That's a tough shot. Bleach with a big rebound. Can't get the put back. Tipped up. Bleach again. And a 50 50 ball goes to St. Francis. And Riddell escapes out of the back court. Great play by Doby. Gives Crosley the 9-8 lead. Team's going back and forth, back and forth. Exciting game so far, coach. Both teams playing really tough defense. Transition defense, working hard. It's nice to see. It's nice to see Crosley and St. Francis both settling in. Good help by Belding there with the steal. He's had a good game so far. They need him to have a good game. Hurley from way downtown, a little bit short. Uh, TJ's probably just trying to get a feel for the game. Yeah. He can shoot the ball, and he's got to get a couple shots. He'll need to see the ball go through the hoop, and then better watch out. Riddell covered by Hurley. Membaya, wide open three. Can't run away from him. No, Igor can shoot the ball. He's, he's the total package. He's a floor leader. Uh, tough defender, but he also shoots the ball really well. Gives Crosley the 11-9 lead. That's a tough pass. Worked out in their favor. Uh, all right. Here we see uh, some real good ball movement by Crosley, as you said. Hurley to the high post, baseline belding. Hits the, hits the runner. Uh, real nice ball movement there, eh, Coach? Yeah, that's uh, what you want to do, tic-tac-toe. Guys are ready to receive the ball. That's the other thing. It yeah, looks like important. everybody knows exactly where they're supposed to be. First uh, sub into the game for St. Francis. Sakovic Samba takes out uh, Cole Carpenter. Up top to Carter, 21 on the shot clock. Lots of time in this game. Belding on the wing, puts it on the floor to Hurley. Hurley covered by Kasamba up top. Hurley with the pull-up. Good look. Just can't get him to go. He started a little slow last night as well. Uh, I, I look for him still. Just, he'll just keep shooting. He'll and maybe find his range. Riddell way downtown. Down it. Opens up a 14-9 lead. Max Riddell can shoot the ball. He's not shy. 
Absolutely. Early to Bleach. Bleach for three. Big bucket. Big a, bucket. Cuts it to 14-12. Nice Needed that's a nice that. shot for Riley. St. Francis on a nice little run there. That quiets it a bit. Um, but, I mean, they're not going to stop. Riddell again. A little bit short, but when you're feeling it, he just hit it from the exact same spot. Little not heat a terrible check. shot. Little heat check for, yeah. for Max. And that's Early for three. Can't get it to go. Good hustle by Jason Carter to Belding. Belding can't get it to go. Carter underneath gets it to go. We have a tie ball game. A minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Real exciting game so far, Coach. Jason Carter's making impact on the game on both ends of the floor. It's nice to see. Big rebound there by Hurley. Dishes to Carter. Carter to Bleach. Bleach step back three. Whoa! That's a six foot five, grade 11 in his first standard final. Knocking Knocks down, down that three. three. It's two and two for him. He didn't hit any last night. I don't even know if he took one last night. Good for him. Here we go. We got a 17 14 lead. Nice. Mbaya blocked by Hurley. Nice block by TJ. Good anticipation. Hurley taking it to the rim. Gets a rebound and finishes. Rebound just falls into his hands. 19 14 Crosley. They are not backing down from this experienced St. Francis team. Kasamba for three. It's good. Big shot. 19-17. 27 shot clock off. You hold for one here, coach? Definitely hold for one. Tempo's on your side right now. Hurley gets it back to Carter. Carter for three. A little right. early. A little early for me, too. Kasamba with the rebound. Looking up court. And they're going to call a charge on Sakade Kasamba with 6.4 seconds left. And checking into the game for St. Francis, number 11, Alan Kalanji for Max Riddell. And there's Riley Bleach on the replay, hitting his second three. Probably what St. Francis wants to give up. Just uh, Doby to Bleach again. He hits another one. Riley Bleach, I'm not sure if it's two, it's two. Two for Riley Bleach, he's shooting the ball. Here it is uh, on the offensive foul turnover. Doby finds Bleach. Bleach definitely inside the line, but still big shot for him. What you, so like coach, to, what you like to see, Randy, is he's ready to shoot the ball as soon as it hits his hands, you know? He's made those last two. Um, ball hits his hands, he shoots, the ball, he shoots it, and uh, right now, Riley Bleach is carrying Crosley in terms of scoring, and uh, that's what they need. They need full commitment from all five, six guys in terms of scoring and def defending. So, Coach, to reset things right now, we have uh, uh, E.L. Crosley cyclone up 21-17 over the San Francis, St. Francis, rather, Phoenix. Assess the first quarter so far, and your thoughts. What are you seeing? E.L. Crosley, young guys, obviously not, not affected by the bright lights and the big game, coming in, knocking down shots, and they're also matching the physical nature of, of St. Francis. St. Saint, Saint Francis probably a little nervous. They know they're defending champions. Um, I think both teams are just going to continue to battle. Absolutely. And uh, talking about Crosley being young and playing in the bright lights, it's 2019. These kids have played a lot of big-time basketball. Back in the 80s, high school basketball rule. Nowadays, these kids are playing AAU ball. They're playing club ball. Uh, it, it, it definitely probably... Not definitely, but your thoughts. Does it, it helps a young team like Crosley to have that. I believe it does, but again, uh, there's nothing that will replace playing for your high school in a big high school regional tournament like this. Um, so uh, all of the exposure that they get from the media, that all heightens this, this excitement and also the nerve. So good on yeah. Crosley to handle yeah, that. Absolutely. So Mambaya going to attack Leach. Leach block from behind. They, they created a mismatch on the uh, on the screen and roll, which is what Mar Coach Marcheter probably liked. But Bleach did a nice job. Crosley's they've got length. Uh, they've got guys that can defend. Kasamba to the rim. They're going to call block on uh, Owen Doby there. Sakade Kasamba to the line for two. That's a physical take. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. you've got to be either ready, feet planted, take that charge. If you're 
moving parallel with him, uh, you're probably going to lose that battle. Yeah, I mean, even though as strong as Owen is, uh, Sackett matches, if not stronger. Two big, strong, great 11s. Future's bright for the two of them. Leads to Hurley on the press break. Doby to Belding. Belding, little dribble gap to Hurley. Hurley with the step back to Bleach. Bleach feeling it. A little deep maybe, but again, can't fault him. He's hit, he's hit three shots in a row. So Mbaya not covered, but gives it up to Demo. Demo for three. Not there. Big rebound by Kalanji, but Bleach, they're battling. And they're going to call it St. Francis ball. There's a sub at the table. Checking in for E.L. Crosley's number 14, Sam Naraki, giving Doby a rest. Crosley starters are logging plenty of minutes to start the game. Naraki off the bench and on Kasamba right away. That's tough. He's going to, he's got his work cut out for him for sure. Here comes the screen and roll, but Demo to the rim. Can't get it to go. It's a good aggressive take. It's a little back rim. Hurley. Norek. Wow. Off the bench and it. Wow, Sam Naraki. Not shy coming off the bench. If there was any doubt that some of these young Yale Crosley kids were, were, were frightened or nervous, uh, I think they're putting that to rest right away. Demo with the spin move on Belding. Nice take by Quinton Demo. Very nice take. Very nice take. Strong, strong attack at the rim. Leach uh, just turned and fired. Good no foul by Carter there. They're going to call that off Hurley. Uh, with two fouls, Jason Carter backed off. And... Uh, and uh, St. Francis still couldn't finish, but smart play by Carter. Really hard, really hard for a young guy to, to, to back off uh, at this point in the game, but you've got to realize that you're more valuable to your team in the fourth quarter than a quick foul right there. Demo for three. Ties it at 23. We got a barn burner already with six to go in the first half. Hurley asking to clear out. A straight man, he's not worried. Hurley to the rim, hits it. Crossover dribble runner. It's a big time move. Yeah. I think you'll hear us say that a lot. Yeah. That's hard to defend. That's decent defense. Just better shot. Yeah, Good runner by it's Ben understanding Landon. your reads. It's understanding what, what, where the help's coming from. I missed it. Ben Landon into the game number one for St. Francis. Quick little guard can shoot it. Covered by Hurley. And they're going to call a travel on Ben Landon. And Max Riddell will come into the game. For, for Lannon, I think it might be a defensive substitution. Um, maybe throwing, uh, no, Kalanji's, Kalanji's going to stay. Yep, substitution into the game for Crosley. Number 25, Hunter Roselle. Hurley gets bumped. They're going to call foul on the ground. Foul on number 11, Alan Kalanji. Hurley to inbounds. Out to Bleach. Oh, a little miscommunication there uh, between Hurley and Bleach. Bleach is going to take a rest, and in comes Aiden Belding, who's had a nice start to the game himself. Aiden's, Aiden's a key player for Yale Crosley. He's got uh, good length, rebounds the ball real well, gives him a little bit extra toughness, a little bit extra size, and if he has to, and, and when he's given the opportunity, he'll knock down the open open jumper. Yeah, he's, I've seen him. He can knock down some threes. He played with my son uh, in Pelham, and uh, he can, he'll knock it down, but he's not going to force it. And that's what you want from your uh, your big man. TJ on Igor. Igor gets through the middle. No call there. Kind of out of control. Nope. The young Eo Crosby guys were in good position. Nobody reached in. Um, made Igor try to get through a, a spot that just wasn't there. Andreas Pelez back in the game for Kalanji. Hurley covered by Kasamba. Hurley, great play to the corner. 
Roselle can't get her to go. Tipped up. Kasamba with the rebound. Timo. That's just quickness. You're not going to stop him. Now. No. That's his game. Quinn gets up and down the floor as good as anyone in the in the high school game right now. Hurley to the corner. Roselle covered by Pelez. Back to Hurley. Hurley from deep. Great rebound by Mambaya to keep it alive. 25-25, four to go, first half. Here we go, Mambaya bringing it up. Going with screen and roll. Riddell attacking Carter, good defense by Carter. Kasamba. They're gonna call the foul on Roselle. Um, I'm not, looks like on the ground. Yeah, they're gonna call that on the ground. Inbounds, Palaz. Tough pass there. Kasamba, rebounding. Oh, can't get the N1, but just so strong. For a great 11 uh, to, to take that that kind of strength, uh, he had two or three guys hanging on him, still got the ball up, and uh, almost an and one. Um, yeah. Big, strong kid. Very strong. Very hungry for the ball underneath. Earned it. Definitely earned this trip to the line. Yeah. Samba knocks down the first. Coach Marchetere with a timeout at the bench, and Kasamba knocked this down. Gets it to go. Here's the timeout. So what do you think he's saying to his players right now? Well, I think, quite honestly, they're a little surprised that Eo Crosby's come out and matched them in terms of intensity. I think he's going to now try to settle his group down, try to get them playing their kind of basketball, maybe get their pressure working for them a little bit. They're certainly great in the open court in terms of offensive or defense to offensive transition, so I'm sure he's going to look at that. Yeah, it, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that, Coach. Uh, over the years, as you know, because you had a lot of battles with St. Francis with your Centennial Cougars, a lot, not a lot of teams can ma match them with intensity. They, they've been playing hard for, for 15 years. I, th I think going into this, if, uh, if there was any concern that I had for Rio Crosley, it was whether or not they were going to handle the pressure, match the intensity, and match, match the physicality of the game. Uh, and quite honestly, Crosley's come out and done that, and then some. Uh, and in the, in the Crosley huddle right now, what's Coach Bleach got to say? I think he still wants his guys just to continue to attack. They don't look scared, and part of the reason when you have a team that pressures you, you want to attack them. You do not want to play scared, and they're certainly not. Kalanji back into the game for the Phoenix. We got four minutes even to go and a two-point St. Francis lead. And uh, a little pressure here by St. Francis. Uh, and we're gonna have a and we're gonna have a foul call here. Sakadik Samba with the, with the uh, hands on the back. Um, probably saw the big man dribbling the ball up the floor, licking his lips a little bit, but uh, a little over aggressive perhaps. Yeah, when you're in the open court like that, it's a pretty easy call for the referee. Yeah, yeah. Leach wide open underneath, kicks to the corner. There's the belding three, short. That's not like him to shoot it. Like, didn't get his legs under him there, I don't think. And Maya with the take. Carter's playing great defense on him, especially with two fouls. Yeah, you're really hoping that Carter can stay in the game. Uh, he's playing smart defense right now on Igor, and Igor is a tough, tough uh, he sure is. kid to defend. Again, yeah. he uses his body really well for 5'10". He gets, he gets his shot off in the lane under pressure. And by again. Looking for the foul. Nice take. Carter plays good D. Better shot. That's Igor's game. Here comes Hurley or Carter in the open court. Closed out by Kalanji. Turns it around. Hurley smothered by Max Riddell right now. Having a hard time getting the ball. Leads to Belding. Hurley. Belding to Clausen and Luke Clausen in the game. Can't get the three to go. Leach with the rebound again. Kicks it back out to Clausen. Clausen for another open three. Just can't get it to go. Demo and Sagamba share the rebound. Kasamba's gonna drive. Kick, great kick to Riddell. 
Just can't get it to Demo with an athletic rebound. Back to Sacaday Kasamba for three. Not there. Good back box out by Belden. St. Francis with a four-point lead. Crossley's gone a little bit quiet right now. Max Riddell doing a nice job on TJ Early. Clausen. Someone else is going to have to step up for Crosley right now. Luke Clausen's had two good looks, and uh, you wanted to con you want him to continue to shoot that shot. He's open. Belden He'll knock with the it baseline down. take to Clausen, covered by Demo. Pull up. Tough shot. St. Francis making it difficult. Carter for three. Short. And we're going to get a, a St. Uh, Clarsley ball underneath. Paul Carpenter back in the game. He's going to take out Sackaday Kasamba. I think Sackaday has two. Um, so he'll get a nice rest here. Bleach in the corner. Looking for Hurley. Hurley up top. Escapes Riddell. And finishes. He's got nice soft hands in there. Great steal by Carter. Once again, Jason Carter doing it on both ends. Over to Hurley. Hurley covered by Riddell. Again, gets to the rim and finishes. They, what they're trying to do, Coach, I see it. Marsha Terry, Coach Sullivan, the right idea. Keep the ball out of TJ's hands. But when he gets it, as you can see, they got to respect his, wow. They got to respect his three-point three, three point shooting ability, but TJ has it all. When you have a kid that can shoot the ball like he does, and then also smart enough to get into the lane, use his body, finish. Yeah, well, three the old-fashioned way uh, gives him a one-point lead, but that all started with the defense of Jason Carter in the backcourt. Outstanding on Igor Mbaya. Here's a little bit of a pressure game here. Double teaming up top, and Igor is you know, in travel here by Alan Kalanji. I like the strategy of the two high guys out top. Hard for Igor to see over top of them against that. Yeah, and there's the old adage that some teams that pressure don't like to be pressured, and I think Crosley's just taking a little bit of chapter out of that book. It's nice yep. to see. Clausen to the corner to Bleach. Bleach back to Carter, to Clausen, to Belding. Back there, so and Mambaya with the push. And that's going to be, I think they're going to be shooting. Uh, okay, there were four up there. It's still four. <laughs> All right. So that's the fourth foul for St. Francis. So now Crosby will shoot, but only a minute 27 to go. Here comes the Hurley in the corner, but Carter with a beautiful take, but he can't touch glass. Again, Toughness. Carter made a nice read off of that. TJ was covered. He decided to take the ball harder to the hole. That was the right read. Lawson wraps it around. Yeah, it was. To Hurley. Hurley being smothered. Lawson covered by Demo. Tough matchup. Riddell on Hurley. Hurley double teamed. Ill affected by it. Skip pass to Lawson. That's going to be an aggressive foul on Demo. Lawson will go to the line now to shoot two. Yeah, that's a tough one for Quentin to take. He's he's playing the ball. He's aggressive, uh, just a little bit, just a little bit out of position. Oh, you gotta love the hustle, though, Coach. Quentin Demo is uh, that's that's his middle name, hustle. Yeah. Um, so nothing wrong with what he's tried to do. It's just unfortunately they had some cheap fouls early on. Yeah. Otherwise, that one doesn't impact the uh, the half as no. much. No. Now he goes. You got a good shooter going to the line for two, and it might just mean what Klaus needs to get going. Oftentimes, shooters can't get their shot going. They like to get to the line. Especially when you're in grade 10 and you're playing on a big stage. Absolutely. Yep. He misses one of two, but that's okay. Uh, Backcourt smothering by Belding. Carter on Mbaya. 45 to go. Two point Crosley lead. Mbaya over to Kalanje, and he's going to get called for a travel. Again, he's a young guy, too. This is probably his first time on the big stage. Maybe a little bit of nerves. Hey, both, of, both of these teams uh, have their fair share of young guys, uh, yeah. which bodes really well for the future of basketball in the region. Lawson to Hurley. Hurley covered by Riddell in the backcourt. Hurley for three. Knocks it down. That is a big time shot. Well, with, uh, with a good defender on him. 34 29. St. Francis, 20 to go. Shot clock off. Then by up top, covered by Carter. 
I just don't want Carter to get cheap foul in this point in the game. I switch off the Hurley. Of the game. Hurley covered. Mbaya, tough. There's a foul there. He's going to get to the line. 3.4 to go. The call's going to go on prob probably Belding. 44, yeah. Aiden Belding with the hit. Um, and Mbaya to the line for two to cut the lead to three at the half. Here he is, Igor Mbaya. Very nice player. Great body control. Draws a lot of fouls. Again, uh, for Jason Carter to only have two fouls in the first half, uh, playing Especially, as aggressive as he is yeah. against a really tough, tough player. He misses them both. Almost got it to go. Wow, coach, I can barely breathe. What a first half of basketball. Really good basketball. Young players stepping up in the spotlight. Uh, experienced players trying to will their way into a, a victory. Uh, it has a little bit of everything, man. Okay, coach, before we wrap it up at halftime, you're going into the half. You're right now, you're uh, Brian Bleach. What do you got to say to your boys? Continue to play hard. Continue to shoot the ball with confidence. Um, you've got to right now let them know that everything that they're doing is going to bode well for them in the second half um, and don't worry about misses. On the other side, you're Coach Marcheter and you're walking into that change room uh, with your St. Francis boys. What do you got for them? We've been here before. Trust your system. There's an eternity left in the ball game. Uh, this one's probably going to come down to the last possession or two. Um, so you want them to just maintain what they do. Absolutely. All right, coach. Well, we'll wrap it up here. We got a third, wrap it up halftime here. E.L. Crosley Cyclone leading the St. Francis Phoenix 34 29 at the half. We'll be right back, folks. My life was in shambles, and I was trying to figure out how to pick up the pieces. AA not only keeps me sober, it helps me live a much better life. If you have a problem with alcohol, contact AA. It works for me. Orange is the first step of recovery where I felt annoyed, hurt, and I was determined to get better. Green, I felt irritated, inadequate, and I was very eager to get better. Yellow, I felt passionate, tender, and hopeful. White, where I am sorted now, I am quiet, warm, and wise. If you are a student, adult, or senior and have an interest in television production, consider volunteering at your TV. Join our team as a camera, audio, or graphic operator. There is no experience necessary. We will train you. Reach out today by email at volunteer at your TV .tv. Call us at 1-866-489-5551 or visit your TV .tv and click on the volunteer tab. Your TV. If you are a student, adult, or senior and have an interest in television production, consider volunteering at your TV. We will train you. Reach out today by email, call us, or visit your TV.tv and click on the volunteer tab. Here with the call of the game alongside Niagara College head coach, my color co commentator, Phil Mosley. Right now, Starting the second half, the second seeded E.L. Crosley Cyclone with a five point lead, 34 29 over the top seeded St. Francis Phoenix. Coach, we're, we're in for a hell of a second half. I'm excited, Randy. Yeah, I think it's one of the best halves of basketball we've seen in a standard final in a long time. I hope it's just as exciting as the first half. Kasamba with a steal in the backcourt to Demo. Demo, leading scorer. In the first half with 13, that brings him up to 15. Hurley leading the way for St. Francis, or sorry, for Crosley with 12. Belding with a long three. St. Francis cuts it to three. Carter staying on Mambaya, did a real nice job in the first half, especially with two fouls. Kasamba covered by Doby. Downtown, can't get it to go. Carter with a nice tap out to Hurley. Smart play by Jason Carter. Don't have Hurley. to always get every rebound, just tap it to. Hurley, covered by Riddell still. Look at Carter. They're forgetting about him, I think. Gonna have a tie-up here? I can't see. Looks like a tie-up. Uh, St. Francis ball on the tie-up. 
Carter again with <laughs> Was it a tie up or was his foot out of bounds? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not a tie up. I like that move to get it to Demo with belding on him. Carter, uh, as good as Mumbai is, Carter's doing an amazing job on him. Yeah, Demo, he can handle the ball. Demo with the, to the corner to Riddell. Hurley with the tip. Kasamba with Doby on him. They're going to call a charge there. St. Francis not happy with the call. Coach, assistant coach Sullivan up off his seat. That's three on Kasamba. I thought Doby played that well. He, he sort of had the verticality. Uh -oh. Hurley cutting to the rim again with the floater. He's getting a step on Riddell. Riddell's getting, getting, not giving him the shot, but he's getting that step. Coach Jason, I can't hear it. The headphones on. Blowing the whistle down. Might have been an issue with the shot clock. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. 36 31, Crosley. Same gap they uh, started the half with. Having a hard time inbounding the ball. Oh, that's a good call. He, that's a good call. He's hustling, but he has his hand on his back and comes across the arms. That was close to a five count. That 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 five count goes while the ball's in the air, not while he releases it. Really close. Uh, again, Riley's got to anticipate that that's getting close to the five count and try to get in front of the man yeah. rather than trail behind. And Baya with bleach on him. Shoots the three. Short. Here comes Hurley with the ball. Way downtown for TJ. Oh, little back rim. Here comes Mimbaya. Demo open. Great pass. Great finish. Wow, great athleticism by Quentin Demo. That pass was actually a little bit ahead of him. You love to see a kid that just gets out and run and then a point guard that rewards him. Yeah. Carter with Mimbaya on him. Gets the corner. Out to Hurley. Hurley for three. Short. Carter again with a rebound. Little out of control there. I'm not sure of the call here. Hurley with the reach in the backcourt. Yeah, I think he went over his back. I mean, yeah. you know, the young Crosley guys are pushing a little bit. They're trying to get uh, trying to get it back in a hurry or trying to get their shots early, and I think they just need to settle into their game. And Baya going right to the rim. Offensive foul on Igor Mimbaya. Looks, Carter's hurt. I believe it's an illegal screen on number number six for St. Francis. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I was blocked out. Looks like it's been called on Cole Carpenter. Carter with a little rib shot, but he seems to be okay. Hurley in the backcourt. Challenged by Mimbaya. Doby to the middle to Bleach. Bleach to Belding. Belding short arms it, but gets it back. Block. And it's going to be gray ball. Belding's got to attack the rim there. Similar play from the first half where they went tic-tac-toe. Belding made it in the first half. This time uh, came up a little bit short. Yeah, a little it's short. the right idea. Yeah. Kasamba attacking. Nice job by Doby. Demo for three. Nothing but that. He's having a big time game. You know, Ties it at 36. It's nice to see Quentin Demo step up scoring-wise. He usually is that blue guy that does a little bit of everything. Now he's That's scoring a kick ball. Actually, well. arguing that it hit his knee, but that is a kick ball. Here's a nice bucket by Demo on the replay here. Over to the wing. Belding not getting out with a hand up. Too late. Beautiful shot by... That's a mistake by Belding. You've got to be out into his space. Hand up. Carter in the baseline. Covered by Mimbaya. In the corner in trouble now. Doby picks it up. 19 on the clock. Lots of time. Bleach with the screen. Or Doby with the screen. Or Bleach. Bleach for three again. Riley Bleach stepping up. 39-36. Bleach with the big time three. Very difficult time inbounding the ball, St. Francis. Great defense by Crosley. 
Double team, Doby. Kasamba for throw. Oh, nice pass to Carpenter. They're going to call it on the ground. Great find by Kasamba. Got him lifted here. Yeah. Here's Riley Bleach on the on the screen and roll. Doby finds him. Bleach ready to shoot. Feet square. If you would have told me at the beginning of the game that Riley Be Bleach was going to be knocking down threes on a regular basis, I might have said you're crazy, but <laughs> he's shooting the ball with confidence. He's ready to shoot the ball, and he's got a nice stroke. And by with the lift and go on Carter. Great, strong move. Great defense, better shot. I don't know what to tell you. Hurley in the backcourt. Carter. Carter to Hurley. Such great body control. Hurley with a nice pass. Back to Hurley. Hurley covered by Mumbaya. Hurley so patient with the ball. Roselle to Carter. Still 13 on the clock. Carter covered by Carpenter with a take on the ground. Kelsey did a nice job of using the entire shot clock. I mean, offensively, they're a little bit out of sync, but what they aren't doing is rushing the shot, making bad decisions. They're just patient. Uh, and then Jason Carter had a nice take at the end to get a foul. And he got a full th new 35 on top of that. Very well, very nicely done. There's Doby going baseline. That's going to be a charge every time. He's got to stop and kick there. Yeah. That's great defense by Cole Carpenter. And not a smart play by, by Owen Doby. In young, my opinion, young guys have a really diff difficult uh, time reading the help defense, where it's coming from. Uh, they commit early. Uh, that's what Owen did right there. Yeah. 39 38, three to go. Mimbaya with the pull up. Great. That's almost indefensible. That's your fifth year point guard. Been here before. Doby with the screen and roll. That's a tough shot. Quentin Demo for three. He's feeling it. And that will open up a 43-39 lead for St. Vincent. Leach wants a timeout. That's a nice little run. Quentin Demo putting his name in the hat for the MVP right now. Here it is. Here's a look at the three. Time and space, coach. Right. Well, with St. Francis, it wasn't if they were going to do it, it's when they were going to do it. And that is starting to knock down their shots, starting to play St. Francis basketball. Uh, Crosley has to answer the call right now, and that's tough for, for young guys. Uh, you hope that they don't put their heads down, that they just keep shooting the ball, because, again, Crosley has enough uh, uh, in their tank and, and enough on their bench that they can take this. Absolutely. We'll see right now what kind of team they are as a young team. You said it. We'll see how they come out of this timeout. I don't think they're going to come out of this timeout scared. I think they're just going to keep playing their game. I could be wrong. They are young, but, uh, man, what they've shown me so far, uh, I haven't seen it. But then again, you go back, Quentin Demo, Igor Mambaya. Those are two experienced guys. They've been here for two, three, four years, I believe. Yeah. Um, this is just regular go-to-work kind of play for them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, they've been on this stage before for sure. Both all-star team members last year. Hurley, Roselle, patience by Carter and Hurley. They run two at Hurley, doesn't phase them. Roselle in the corner, that's a tough spot to have the ball. Hurley with a great nice cut, cut, great pass to Carter, and two. That's a big bucket out of the timeout. Cuts it to two. See what they can get here. That's T.J. Hurley recognizing not to just stay on the reversal, but to cut. They took the Mimbaia, reversal pass tough away. shot. Rebound by Carter. Mimbaia is going to get the reaching call there. Great rebound by Jason Carter there. It's like a Swiss Army knife, Jason Carter. <laughs> Does a little bit of everything. Does a little bit of everything. Oh, coach, you got all the cliches, eh? There's Hurley, gets it to the middle. Very wisely keeps that ball moving. Covered out there. Hurley for three. Oh my! <laughs> That's big time. That's a different level. 
Right wow. there, the, the young guy's playing at a different level right there. Yeah. When you come off the screen and you're ready to shoot the ball and you and shoot deep. it with such proficiency, that's a different level. Carter with the screen and roll. Bleach, Membaya. Membaya tries with the answer. Carpenter with a big offensive rebound. Underneath, Carter with an amazing steal. Wow, what hands. Oh, and a bad turnover there. Membaya underneath. Carter wisely lets him go, actually. Gives the back to a one-point lead. Here we go, Hurley bringing it up the wing with Carpenter on him. Wow. TJ's turned his game up, if you can imagine that. He's playing great. But again, there's a nice, that's a foul. Oh, they're gonna call a hook on them by it. Here's Hurley. Watch this three, coach. Coming off the screen, deep. That's big time. It's a big time play by a young guy who has a bright future. And by a picks up comes Ben Land into the game. I imagine for Igor. Igor's picked up another foul. I think it's three. And uh, right now, Crosby with a one point lead. We got a great game going on here. Into the game is Luke Clausen. Right? Felding looking to step through. Finds Clausen. Clausen inside. Good block by Carpenter. Demo. Demo tips it out of bounds. It's going to be Crosley Ball, Hunter Roselle battling with Demo. Roselle reverse Carter looking for Hurley. Hurley looking to attack. Riddell's on him tight. He's going to get in double team. Body got bumped. Needs to get back on D and forget about it. It's a rare turnover by TJ. Max Riddell played good defense there. He's bodying them yep. just enough. And, if, and uh, then the, the help came, not right? going to call, and yep. the help comes. Carter covering Lannon. He's shifty. Andreas Palaz to Ben Lannon in the corner. Doesn't get it to go. Carpenter with a big rebound. Trying to take it at Belding. Can't get it to go. Big rebound again. And he's fouled. Cole Carpenter actually starting for St. Francis his first year of organized basketball. Uh, he looks like one of those uh, athletes that just goes in, grinds, knows his role. Yeah. Um, picks up some loose balls, doesn't shoot the ball too much, but Not here he is sitting, standing on the line ready to... Does a real uh, nice job. Knocks one down, ties the game. Really, really solid baseball player. Grew up playing some hockey. Now here he is. Uh, the playing starting in the premier program right now, and one of the premier programs for sure in the region. Great rebound by Roselle, but he turns it over. Got to be stronger with the basketball. Demo for three, he's feeling it. Oh my, he is on fire. Bad turnover there in the backcourt. That gives him a three point lead with 10 to go. Carter driving to Roselle. Four seconds left. Gonna have to shoot it. Clausen. Can't get it to go. A nice quarter there by St. Francis to open up a three-point lead. Some sloppy turnovers by Crosley there. Uh, cost him a little bit. Yeah, Crosley, again, uh, the pressure that St. Francis puts on you starting of the game starts to wear on you by the third and fourth quarter. But really, this is a story about Quentin Demo. He's knocking down shots. He's hitting threes. Here he is again. It's like uh, pressing replay. That one there rattles in. It's just one of those days. He's playing great. He's feeling it. And when he's feeling it, give him the ball. You know, Quentin Demo's a six foot two guard. Uh, to play at the next level, he'll have to knock down that shot. And to see him knock down as many shots as he is tonight, uh, to, to team with his athleticism, um, certainly has a bright future. Yeah, absolutely. If he can knock that shot down consistently, he can play for sure. He's got the athleticism. That's there. We know that. That's a given. He's not going to lose that. So if he can knock down that shot, boy, he's going to be a tough kid to defend. And he's proven it tonight. Well, I've watched Quentin play, and a lot of times I've always called him the glue guy or the guy that does the little things, gets a little rebound here and there. But now he's actually stepping up, scoring for him, carrying the team when they struggled to score offensively. Yeah. It's nice to see. It's going to be St. Francis ball coming out of the break. Kasamba back in the game as well as Membaya in the fourth quarter. I think they both... 
I think they bleach bleach arguing for the ball. Was but that, was this that is, call this earlier is the in call the exactly. Was it an out of bounds or was it a jump? Yeah, I, I, we didn't know, so we can't. Not that it's our place anyway, but I, I certainly can't comment because I have no idea what happened there, uh, whether it was out of bounds or whether it was a tie. Coach, uh, uh, referee Zayson asking the girls at the table, uh, recalling if it was a jump or a foot out of bounds. I don't know who made the call. I thought it was Zerota. Zerota's answering. Yeah. Yeah. Zerota saying it was a jump ball. Uh, you and I had no idea because we didn't see. At the time, we didn't see him signal jump, but they definitely gave possession to St. Francis, yes, which they way did. the arrow was going at the time. Yeah. Oh, wow. A lot of body. Shifty. Hurley with the runner. Not easy to defend. We had a one-point game. Great, great uh, start. First great, possession. Great to see TJ play through all that contact. Uh, yeah. Has a great 10. Nice. Nambaya. Bleach on him. He's going to want to get to the rim. And he does. Easily. They used the screen and roll to get the mismatch they wanted. Oh! Great steal by Riddell. I don't, I don't like picking up that foul in the backcourt there, like they did, like Doby did. And Baya, to Demo, to the corner to Kasamba, inside to Pelez, back to Kasamba. Kasamba to Demo, that's who you want to give it to. Wow. He is putting on a show. I don't know what he has, but he had 13 at the half. He's got to have a 20 in this half. Absolutely, 25. He'll be pushing the 30 mark because he's not finished. Belding from the corner for three. In and out. Six-point lead. They need to stop here. Crosley tried to get the big response right away. Kasamba. They're going to call it. Zorro's going to call a charge. That's four on Kasamba. And he's got his palms up. Bewildered. <laughs> We're just showing the same thing over and over again. Look at this. Number four, Quentin Demo for three. And uh, St. Francis uh, calling a timeout. Um, yeah, Kasamba just trying to bowl his way to the rim. Uh, and he's so strong, he's usually quite good at that. He's been out for quite some time with an ankle injury. He's just working his way back into the lineup. Uh, maybe a little rusty, but, I mean, he's he's such a strong player. But solid defense. Uh, Doby, Doby anticipated which way uh, Sackaday was going. Uh, jumped into the certainly was in place uh, it was nice to see good defense rewarded with a good call yeah absolutely and it's second he may be a little bit frustrated right now but uh at the end of the day if they they walk out with a w i think he's going to be just fine well randy right now we've got to be talking about quentin demo yeah there's no question about it uh quentin demo is the man of the hour right now uh quentin demo and, and tj early Back and forth, putting on a show. It's it's fun to watch. What can I tell you? It's, uh, it's a shootout at two the great OK players. Corral. It sure is. It's very very fun to watch these two young men play some really really good, solid fundamental basketball at a very high level. Yeah, we've watched them both grow up. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's nice to see them on a big stage. Both of them uh, having the opportunity to show their skills. Yeah, uh, good friends with both or both sets of their parents, so I, it makes it even more enjoyable for me. Carter with the take, and he's going to go to the line. That's a, a nice job of creating contact, which we uh, we like to teach our kids without throwing their bodies into people. So Carter's going to get to the line. These are big points. Like it's a six-point lead. They keep it to four and get a stop with a chance to get it to two. It's big. So Carter at the line. Nothing but net. Okay, Coach, 54-49. A mountains of time left. He would tell your team, just continue to play hard. Eternity left. Yeah, absolutely. Landon on the wing. Wide open three. And it's good. All right, all right, role players coming off the bench. Grade 11's knocking down threes. That's huge. Hurley to Doby. Doby breaks the press. No call there. I don't mind that no call. Mimbaya blocked by Hurley. Gets a rebound. Oh, my goodness. 
Riddell just grabbed him by the arm. Tossed him. Hurley with a nice one-handed rebound off his own block. Yeah, off his own block. Really, really nice anticipation on the step through by Igor. TJ stayed down and then at the last minute with his length got up. And I don't think people realize TJ Hurley is an athlete and can defend. Certainly he can score. Wow. Didn't get it to go, but Carter with a big rebound. The hustle guy. Bleach, what's the whistle for? Oh, whistle on the floor. We got a wet floor, it looks like. Kevin Moore looking after the uh, safety of the players on the floor. Not taking any chances. You don't want to see a kid go down on a wet floor. No. Could end up in a concussion, a broken wrist, anything. That's good officiating. Yeah, that's that's a good spot by uh, by Moorsey. Got 18 on the shot clock. Seven point gap. Every possession now is. I would say this is danger zone for El Crosley. They've got yeah. to answer the call right now. You yes. do not want St. Francis to knock down another shot. Get it to 10 is trouble. Ready, man. Yeah. And if there was any doubt, they're going to T.J. Hurley. T.J. will defer. They just got to make sure he gets it back. Carter with a nice take, but bricks it. Riddell with a nice rebound. Not a soft, a good take, but not very soft off the glass there. Benny Lannon cutting baseline to Membaya, covered by Hurley. Over to Timo. Riddell in the corner. No hand up by Carter. Bleach with a great box. Doby in the backcourt. You need a little out of him this half, too. Yeah. Here it is. He's got a hit. Nope, not even close. And he's getting it from the fans here. Got to get his legs under him. Hurley, Hurley's going to have a hard time getting his shots now. He's going to have to. He's hitting open guys. They're going to have to make shots. Yeah, they're running guys at him. Uh, he will find the open guy. Those guys have to be ready to Demo shoot again. Oh, my. Kawhi Leonard-like. Three bounces. It's a 10-point lead. I don't know if that passed by Carter at all. Leach is going to need another timeout, maybe. 4-4, four, four, here it is. Danger zone, as you said. Yeah. Uh, Quentin Demo is the story of the game. There's no question about it. He is as good as TJ is playing. Quentin has been the best player in the gym tonight, at least offensively. Wow. It's just a, a, a shooting exhibi exhibition for Quentin Demo. Yeah, I don't know what he has. We're going to get a, a count here from the scores table just to let you know what Quentin has. He's got to have 35. Like, that's my guess. I don't know the young ladies at the score can uh, add that fast. We may not get it by <laughs> quarter time. No, uh, we got tournament coach here, John Pilling, uh, adding him up. But he's got 30. Uh, he's 30 points for Quentin. Amazing. And um, before we uh, get back into the uh, end of this game, I, we need to do a big shout out to our corporate sponsors, our title sponsor, uh, Cully's downtown St. Catharines. Uh, this is their uh, third year helping us out as their corporate sponsor. They do a great job. A big shout out to our, our friend Mihai Radicanu and No Limit Performance sponsoring, co-sponsoring our players of the game every year. Uh, it's, it's huge for us. And then all the advertisers and Kojiko who sends all their volunteers and these, these guys are all volunteers doing it for free. And then our committee, uh, co uh, John Pilling, uh, co-chair, uh, along with myself and a, a great group of people. Demo for 32. He's unstoppable. Yeah, and he's it, having the game of his life. Yeah, he's got an MVP trophy in his hands right now. It's his to lose. My goodness. Doby picking up his dribble for no reason. And they're going to call a foul. And three St. Francis coaches up off the bench. They're going to call a hold on Andreas Palaz. Yeah, St. Francis thought they had him in the backcourt, getting close to yeah. eight seconds. That's a tough one. Yeah, well, I don't like Doby picking it up where he did. Picked it up in the middle of the backcourt. Riley Bleach. It was there. Kept alive. Great rebound by Igor with the bigger man. 
Big time danger zone right now. Halas can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound. Tough. Reverse to Mimbaya. He wants the three. But Demo right there, wide open. They didn't get it to him. Yeah, early, early attacking. Wow. <laughs> that is such a tough shot. Keeps it to 10. That's a psychological breaking point. But 3.46 to go. It's going to take a lot right now. They need stops. They need to play hot, hard defense and get some stops. And right they're now, extending Saint the Francis beat. wants to extend their offensive possessions. They want to take full shot clocks. Yep. That 35 second shot clock. <laughs> Demo just feeling it gets to the rim again. That's 34 for Quentin Demo. He's wow. forcing aggressive closeouts and then he's yeah. taking them off the dribble. It's just perfect offensive play by Quentin. Carter. Oh boy. Max Trudell. Uh, out of bounds off of Belding's leg. 12 point lead right now. They've really extended it. Kassam going to check in the game for Ben Lan. And Ben Lan has done a nice job for them off the bench. I watched him play earlier this year. He's deceiving. He uh, shoots the ball really well. Um, yeah. Can also take the ball to the hole. He's going to hey, be a nice player. Quick. Absolutely. Yep. Experience of St. Francis right now actually is, is making a big difference. Carter working really hard on Mimbaya. He's not going to tire, I'll tell you that. Jason Carter, a high, high level. Early going to get called for the block. Actually, they kind of need a couple fouls right now because they may need may need to get into the line if yeah. they can get it close enough. Yeah, you want to at least give yourself a chance at the end of the game to foul and put somebody on the line, especially yeah. a, maybe a young kid. Uh, That's and, only and their trade, first foul. Trade so, yeah. one or zero for three. Yeah. St. Francis going for the historic four-peat here. Uh, it's looking, I mean, it's looking real good at this point. 12-point lead. Crosley's throwing everything at them. Just too much Quentin Demo. Big, deep three there. Probably. He knows. He knows. Hard guy to get mad at right when now. You, when you got 34, I think you got a little bit of a, you got a little bit of a green light right there. Yeah, absolutely. Nice pass by Bilby. Great block by Kasamba. Leach gets fouled. Smart play by Bleach, trying to put that back up as, as he caught it and got hit. Yeah, he does a nice job of keeping the ball alive with his hands, uh, with the tip, and then going to get it. He's got soft hands. Riley Bleach has had a good game. He's established himself as a legitimate uh, high school basketball player yeah. in this tournament and uh, Another great has 11. a bright future. Yeah. yeah, this young team will be back. If they don't happen to pull this one out, they will be back. And you know St. Francis will be back. Uh, at least two teams up. Other good teams in the standard tournament, but this might be a one-two seed for a couple years to come. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Leach hits the first one. This here cuts it to 10 if he knocks it down. Again, 232 might not be enough time. Especially if St. Francis can extend their possession. Kasamba. Hit a bit stolen by Doby. Carter. To Doby. Too much dribble by Way everybody. too much dribble. Hurley's wide open here on the wing. I don't understand Owen on that one. I do not understand that. But again, I'm not a kid playing basketball. Limbaya, they're going to call a charge. Marshall Terrett not happy. And Limbaya with the charge, that's probably four. That'll be four on him. It's, it's sort of mathematical now anyway. I mean, that fourth foul is not the end of the world, but two to go up ten. He held on with three fouls for a long time. Nowicki to Hurley. Hurley. Doby's got to get his legs under him. No call there again on Demo. But they, they need no to call. score. Minute 44. Kasama to the rim. Nice take. Can't get it to go, but he's going to go to the line. I, I, yeah, this game has been an outstanding game, but it's it's ooh, 10 points a minute 40. Kasamba might have traveled there, but he got away with it, and uh, he's standing at the line. 
did not. I was blocked out, but it's aggressive take. Uh, he's at the line now to shoot two. This could be the icing on the cake, I'm afraid. He gets the first one to go. That's an 11 point lead. It's tough right now. Knocks them both Crosby's, down. Crosby's going to have to just keep working. They'll never quit, but it no, is tough. No, you know they won't it quit. It is tough. Two. You can hear the call every time TJ yeah, touches the ball. Two, two, two. Bleach, as good as he wants. Great hustle by Carter. Doby. Blocked cleanly by Max Rudell. Kasamba, beautiful pass to Pelez. And that should do it. The final score will not dictate how close this game was. Pelez with the push in the backcourt. Gonna push Hurley to the line. Smart by Hurley there to lean into him a bit and, and create it. Yeah, again, that's a basketball IQ thing. They are banging Hurley. They're sending an extra defender, sometimes two extra defenders yeah. at him. And that's smart basketball by the yeah. coaching staff from St. Francis. I mean, yeah, I would do that. If I'm coaching too, I'm doing that. TJ's done a nice job deferring. Um, but at the same time, uh, St. Francis has done a fantastic job on the defensive end, especially here late third quarter, early fourth quarter. Put the clamps down, did a great job. Benny Landon going to check into the game. Probably will get in on the make, or he's Coach Marchetier waiting. Early makes them both. Landon subbing in. Going to come in for Andreas Palaz, who's done a nice job running double teams at TJ himself. I think that was a really smart coaching maneuver by St. Francis, putting Palaz on him. Uh, that leaves Saint your Fence. other players, your other offensive players, free to score. Um, uh, and absolutely. he did a nice job. And they sent one, maybe two, three, four different guys at, at TJ through a course of the second half. And one more group I can't be uh, more than happy to talk about is our friends at BP Sports. Bernie Pachowski and Bill Patras and, and Bernie's daughter Tess who's taken all our photos. Um, just unbelievable, you know, with the uh, downsizing at the local community, at the local newspapers. These two guys took a risk. They went out on their own and boy do they do a lot for youth sports here in Niagara. I hope they know how much the students, uh, coaching staffs of all of the high schools appreciate the exposure, the opportunity to, to highlight the players. All of these kids work so hard, uh, coaches work hard, uh, and for them to be able to read, see their names, it's just special. And uh, It's huge. Uh, I hear from kids all the time about that. They, that's the first thing they talk about, and uh, that's just a real tribute to uh, Absolutely. Sports. Yeah, I, I cannot tell you how, and they're pros. You know, they, they've been doing this for 30 years, the two of them, and uh, now they're out on their own, and I, I, I hope people are supporting them because they're relying on advertisers and donations to make a living, Coach. And, uh, wow, it's just been great. Well, it's nice when their passion... Kasamba for two. They run a deep play there, opening up a 14-point lead with a minute 10 to go. Too little too late here for Crosley. Carter with a spin move and a travel. Yep, I got the travel too. Quentin Demo putting an exclamation mark on yeah. his uh, game today I mean, by a uh, great yeah. defensive stand. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah, no question about it. He's had an amazing game. Um, and uh, I've been really just thoroughly impressed and, and blown away. And I've known Quentin, uh, I've known Quentin since he was probably seven years old. And um, uh, he's always been a, a really, really, really great player. But tonight, for me, he's taken it up a whole nother level. And I couldn't be happier for the young man. That's yeah, nice. It's nice to see. It's nice to see big stage. Young guy, not sure if he's uh, going to return or if he's going to do an extra year, but uh, if it is his last year, it's a great way oh to finish. Oh, oh, uh oh. Why is he going up to block that? Quinton. Quinton. 46 seconds to go in an MVP game. Riddell pushes hard from behind. Yeah. Coach Sullivan actually asking his player what he, like, why he, like he doesn't understand max well max has a motor no doubt about it but um that was uh yeah coach sullivan just uh laying into him a little bit here and 
Um, I don't mind that, actually. <laughs> well, the poor, uh, the young guy probably got caught up in the emotion. Sometimes, again, you, you just um, you get caught up in the emotion. Uh, there was no... Nice to see an apology absolutely. there. Absolutely. He had, he had no malice in what he did. He no. just... Uh, yeah, here it is. You'll see, though, it looks like... I, there's no way Max would intentionally... I know Max. He's not intentionally hurting him, but he does extend the arm. He pushes him, and he pushes him into his own player. So, again, Max is a fantastic young kid, aggressive defender. He knows. He knows. And Coach, Coach Sullivan, to his credit, called him over and said, you know, that is not what we need right now. We're up 14. And Max will learn from that. Yeah, sometimes those are just uh, learning opportunities. Uh, you want to finish out this game. I mean, clearly St. Francis has, uh, has put the game away. Now everybody just wants to get out safe. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where Coach Sullivan was coming from with his, his speech to young Max. And that's, and that's fine. Um, and I'm not sure what the discussion among the officials is because I really, I wouldn't want to see Max get something intentional here. Even though it was an aggressive foul at a really silly time in the game for him to do that. Um, I know Max, like I know his family well. He's not that type of player. No, no. So. But, again. Really, the person that took the worst of that was Quentin I'm Dumo. surprised Quentin bounced back from that. He went down hard. I did not want to see him get hurt there uh, after the game he's had, boy. Yeah. Doby. I, well, actually, Doby took the worst of it. He, his left wrist is, is hurting. But, uh, again, no ill intent or malice at all from young uh, Riddell. All right, he's had a great tournament, Max, and he's outstanding defender. Um, I don't think that uh, down 12, Coach Bleach not giving up, but uh, just giving St. Francis opportunity to extend their lead, in my opinion. They're going to play. Crosley deserves absolute full props for what they've done tonight. Um, they, have, they threw everything they had at St. Francis, an experienced team. Uh, Sackaday attacking the rim. Goes for the dunk. Misses it. Uh, tried to put an exclamation point on it. Oh, nobody rolled off of that. And uh, that's res full respect to Coach Marchantere, who is going to dribble it out. Um, full props to Crosley. Uh, St. Francis is going to take this 70-58, a 12-point final, not a 12-point game in all reality. This was a good high school basketball game. Crosley came in and, again, once again, established themselves as uh, possibly the team of the future. Uh, yeah. St. Francis, though, protected their backyard. Yep, and, absolutely. Uh, our four-peat champions. Nope, they owned it. They, uh, they deserve it. Uh, Crosley deserves all the props that they get. Uh, just a fantastic finish to a tournament. We've had a few blowouts in the past couple of years. Uh, this has been, this is, it's nice to see it back where it should be. Real exciting game. Uh, and St. Francis, congratulations to Coach Marchetter and his team for uh, a historical four-peat in the 58th tournament. I mean, you've had some teams, Dave Phillips teams, Dan Mahar's teams, just they weren't able to four-peat. And this team, this, this school has four-peated. And again, that's going back to Brian Bleach's teams. Like just teams have, it's not that easy to do. No. Uh, and again, St. Francis, uh, they're, they're used to being here. That's what they expect. But uh, that comes with a lot of hard work. So tribute to their coaching staff and uh, their players for putting in the work. Uh, again, Crosley, I think they put everybody on notice uh, yeah. that they're here to stay. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see them next year. Absolutely, Coach. Well, we're going to wrap things up. Once again, the final score, 70 to 58 for the St. Francis Phoenix. Quentin Demo, uh, they haven't announced it yet, but he's going to be your MVP. Full props to Quentin. Full props to St. Francis. Full props to young TJ Hurley in the E.L. Crosley Cyclone, along with Brian Bleach and his staff. Uh, Marsha Terre, Sullivan, De La Cruz, great job by them. Uh, my name's Randy Collin. It's been a pleasure, Coach, doing this game with you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's an exciting night. Uh, it's great for me as a college coach to see the level of basketball that's being played in high schools in the region. Um, so, again, thanks for having me, and I uh, hope to be back next year. Absolutely, and good luck to you and your Niagara College next to the rest of this.